Right, so I quickly connected the uh, mo. Uh, the, this is very short desoldering, and as you can see, uh, these are the commons. These are the other commons, and uh, I had to switch them around because at the first right was left, left was right, and so on. But either way, I connected the uh, this three are. Basically, this goes to the board, uh, and those two are the beginnings of the, uh, let's say, uh, potential. So, uh, the, let's say, let's call it zero ohms, the beginning of the slider, and uh, the the second one are the end of the slider, and uh, here you have also connected from the other side. Uh, you can see that, yeah, you can. Uh, the, the the sliders themselves, so this one. Okay, so it's all fi fine. I mean, not really, because it's it's really shitty soldered. And, well, I removed the uh, the throttle for now, but let me show you how it, how it looks on the computer. And, okay, so up, right, down, slowly. As you can see here, there is a still some dead zone and in the middle there is some two left and right okay so what we can do about this this one i mean you can calibrate it but there are also the adjustment knobs <laughs> knobs and you can move it around and just yeah move it into the dead zone so you have the dead zone and then you can move it around and also the the throttle Still works, I think. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it, it's not really placed in the in the correct um, uh, in the correct place on the so so I can't use this. But this is pretty amazing. I mean, I didn't expect that this to work fine like this. Uh, okay, so now it's the time to connect all the because uh, if you if you look around here, uh, there is. Uh, this is exactly the way the buttons are set up. So there is one common, and for all of the buttons, there are all uh, it's only one connection. So I can solder everything that's directly here to directly here. So one common, the buttons. That's it. So now is the time to solder this, and well, it's pretty pointless for me to show it uh, because uh, you can easily find the common. Just check one side. The, the, in this instance, the common is the the huge part here, right? So the huge part here, and it, it, it's really simple to find it. So I won't bore you with, with that. And also, all the connections here are directly connected. The only thing I will may be missing is this one. I'm thinking about mapping it to the uh, to the mode button for the analog stick. Uh, I mean analog. Uh, mode and also the the problem is uh, with with this uh, that when you uh, when you don't use the uh, let, let me show you that on the PC when you don't use the oh, let's let move it around a bit uh, you don't use the analog mode let me just turn it off so you can see three and four are light that lighted because uh, actually, what 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 will happen uh, if I move this potentiometer? Yeah, you can see. Okay, so it uh, the mm, that the, the basically if it's in the middle, nothing is pressed. So uh, you know one three, and that would be the uh, that if you are, if it's PlayStation controller triangle button and X button. So one three. Uh, bottom top and left right would be the other direction but it's not connected currently to fix this I could simply uh, insert 50k resistor between the uh, so so uh, the, the, this 4 won't be lighting and the uh, digital mode uh, I could simply as you can see here because this one is not connected completely so it has basically uh, uh, zero, right? If I go to the analog mode, like so, 
Okay, so uh, we are talking about Z axis. So it has zero currently, and uh, I can uh, connect the 50 ohms between here and one of the commons, uh, or <laughs> even better, both of them. And in this instance, I mean 50. K one way, 50k other way, and this would cause it to be uh, right in the middle and uh, it wouldn't affect any buttons in the uh, uh, digital mode. So that would be perfect, but we will see about it. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, anything around 50k would be perfectly fine uh, because it has a little bit of dead zone, as you can witness here. and. Yeah, anything as you can see here, uh, there is a bit of that zone, right? Uh, and I will think about it later on, we will see about that. Uh, but first, let's connect all the buttons, all the potentiometers, and put this board inside, uh, exposing the <laughs> those connections just in case. I will add the, uh, the resistors so. Or uh, you can add the internal potentiometer uh, set to the one value, but it, it, it could be pretty, yeah, that's pretty pointless, but we will see about it. Okay, so I'm basically done. And if, if I noticed earlier, there were a test points on here uh, for each button, so I, I was able to use them. Also, I took, a, I think it's a ground. Uh, for the connection and also make a bridge with the analog so uh, well, that there is no switch right now I disconnected the uh, the turbo button turbo switch and there is no switch for analog right now because it, it doesn't make any sense uh, for me to put it there and uh, so well because there is no switch for analog uh, it, it, it when I bridged it, it's uh, in default in the analog mode, so it works pretty well this way. And well, the last thing to do is uh, put it back into this case, and I will probably struggle a bit with this. Uh, put through the cable and and and, and so on. So. Uh, this will take some time. I was able to do this pretty quickly because I had all the connections uh, written down. What what's what button is being connected to what? So it went pretty smoothly. So uh, I will show you the end result. Uh, it, uh, but hopefully I will be able to fit this back into the case. Okay, so this is a bit different camera angle. Uh, I put the board into the joystick. I, let me show you right over here and this is the USB cable, it's not connected yet, so let me plug it in. Alright, and as you can see, just move this around uh, so you can see better. There is a bit of a dead zone and if I go into the bottom right and move just a bit, there is still a dead zone. but works pretty well. I also noticed that up down works also as the z-axis over here and this was actually the uh, x uh, axis on the second analog stick so left right and uh, the, uh, the okay let me just move it in and the throttle there is a middle and uh, there is a middle dead zone but it works pretty well and the buttons, one the trigger, second one left and right, as you can see here, and also the top head button. I can move it around perfectly and it all, all works in a tandem, like so. So this seems pretty nice. Uh, as you can see here, I was able to connect it uh, directly there is no movement over here, the switches doesn't work anymore, and that's basically it. So that's done. Also, I noticed that the turbo button disables the buttons uh, other than hat switch, so oh, that's not really useful. I wasn't able to connect it to the analog switch, and it simply didn't work, didn't do anything. Uh, the adjustment knobs, knobs 
uh, the adjustment knobs actually work so you can see here right let me write that for you so the middle is somewhere around here and if I move it the other way see it works but I will keep I would keep this in the middle position so so it would lock up on the dead zone nicely but you can do something like this so for example default you want to have it right so it won't move this way only top or the other way around just to yourself so like in the flying simulator just you pull the stick up the forward way but oh, I don't think that that's pretty useful for, for now let me show you the insides how I put it in I mean I won't show you the exact details because I'm not taking this apart anymore it, 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 it took me too, too much work to put it in but I will describe it on another board